Hello friends, how are you? I am your instructor Imran and today we are going to work on the theme how to use the theme, how to switch between the themes from dark light to light mode and then how to use the shared preferences to switch the themes and then save the data in the shared preference or to share this Hello friends, how are you? I am your instructor Imran and today we are going to learn about to making your own custom themes in Flutter, how to switch between the themes of dark mode and light mode and then using the provider to switch between them. After this, we will work on the shape reference to store the theme so that we can, whenever we will run the app, it will work perfectly. So you will see here, uh, I have a main.dart file and this main.dart file, there is nothing just like a uh, theme data and uh, then is the home page so by default you will see here there is the uh, light mode so we have a home page here which have only the app bar in which there's a action button and then there's a floating action button and a safe area and column and a car perfect so first of all let's create here the uh, let's go here into the main page and just you want to change the theme so just put here the brightness then you can write right here the brightness dot dark if you just save it and you will see something like the dark mode okay but we are not doing this way we have to make our own custom theme so let's go here my theme dot dark and just write here the final theme data and just put here the light theme whatever you will write and this is our theme data here again this light theme have some brightness and I just put here the brightness uh, brightness dot light okay and then I will just put here the primary swatch color and that is just like the colors dot uh, let me put here the um, green uh, green perfect now uh, after this let's copy it and again paste here with a different name and here now I'm just using it the dark theme here it should be the dark and then here it should be the let me put here the red accent uh, it should be the red accent because it's coming from the material so then I'm just going to use here the red now let's go to the main dot dart file and if I'm not going to use this one I'm just calling here the dark theme that we have created now uh, why it is not uh, I'm not going to use this theme data I just put here the dark theme now save it and you will see something like this one okay so we can also change the app bar color or the card color or this or this floating action button color so how can we do this let's go to the dark uh, theme and just write here for example I'm going to put here the card theme and then I'm just going to put here card theme and then just put here the color put here the colors as the colors dot red perfect you will see uh, you will notice that it will also be uh, like the, it will change the color but uh, let's make some more changes and then restart the app I'm going to change the floating action button theme and just right here the floating action button button and then putting here the theme data put here the background color and colors dot red you have lot of other options when you click on this theme data you will see here you have like background color you have some scaffold background color you have the primary color you have the shadow color and you can do according to this okay so now if we just uh, restart our application you will see something like uh, the car theme color will be like this will be red and this will also be the red Oh, perfect so uh, you can also change the data or you can also make your custom theme here also let's go to the main dot dart file and uh, uh, you can see everything is working fine now I'm going to the theme service dot dart file and here I'm going to make the service uh, using the provider okay so you can add dependency by using the control shift P and then add dependency and just put here the provider okay so you will see the provider will work in our app just like this okay so I have already done this one 
here using the provider I just put here. Understand? Now let's create here in the theme service. Put here a class name as a theme service. It's up to you. So you can change write any name. It should be coming from uh, with just like the mixin. I'm just putting here the chain notifier. Chain notifier is using the Cupertino. So it's up to you. You have a lot of options. So I'm just using this chain notifier that is built in notifications or that that is built in in the Dart. Here, what I have to do. I am just put, putting here, uh, first of all, I am just putting here the bool as a dark theme. Bool as a dark theme. Let me put here the dark theme. And put it, make it like a, a private. Now just go here and create a constructor as a theme service. And uh, in this constructor, I am just putting here the dark theme will be the true. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, after this, what I will do, I'm just going to make here a toggle theme option. Uh, let me put here toggle theme, uh, toggle theme function, uh, which have something like a dark theme. It should be not dark. It should be a dark theme. Okay. So now, if if dark theme is true, then it should be not true, just like this one. It means that the data is true and otherwise it will be false, true or false, okay. So after this, what I am going to make here, uh, I am going to make a notify listener, just like the set state we will use, uh, it will not need any, like changing the value, you can use it anywhere else, okay. So this is the provider, so uh, after this, what I will do, I will simply do, I am going just going to uh, I, I'm just going to go to the main file and here I'm just going to wrap this material app with a widget and let's wrap it with stream builder okay but I'm not going to use a stream builder here I'm just going to use here the change notifier provider okay and this object should be the theme service uh, theme service we don't need that stream here uh, what I will do, it, it needs a one create, okay, it's required. So I'm just putting here the create and this create needs a function. So I'm just putting here the theme service again. Sorry, it should be the theme service. Perfect. Now, uh, this chain notifier provider needs one child also, okay. So uh, what I will do, I will put here the child and this child, it is just like the consumer, okay. So uh, consumer needs one builder. So what I will do, I will just copy that builder from here to here. I'm just cutting it from here and pasting it here in the builder. It will throw us an error. Let me remove this builder from here because I'm already using it. This builder needs three things. First is the build, context, dy dynamic and the widget. So I'm not going to use this one. It just accept the child and putting here the third, the second one that is a theme service and just put here the theme. Uh, uh, putting here the comma, okay, so it will work fine. Uh, now I'm just putting here the theme dot uh, dark theme. Let me sorry, sorry, sorry. It should be theme dot. Uh, uh, um, okay, I understand the things. Why I'm just doing this uh, because that function was the that variable was the private so that's why it's, it was creating a problem so I'm just removing this one from here from here and then from here and then from here understand now let's go to here and just put here the theme dot if the dark theme is true then put here the dark theme that we are using here in the theme service and then uh, at the else just use here the light theme perfect this theme is just like that you have to put the null safety options uh, we have to uh, restart the application and then let's see what happens so we have just uh, uh, run our application and it says that uh, it's working fine with the dark theme and if I just go here and put here that false then let's see what happens we have to restart up our application because they are working in the main page. So, 
um, it's restarted but it, it is not fully restarted so you can see it's working fine perfect now I'm just going to click on this one and change the theme using the provider so it's very easy just go to the home page and here I have the action button and then wrap this action button with the uh, consumer okay with the stream builder and wrap it with the consumer okay this consumer needs a class that's the theme service it doesn't need this one okay and now this builder needs three argument that we have already told you that uh, the builder it contacts theme service and the widget so let's create here a theme service theme service and then theme put the comma here and not use a snap it's just like like built in like putting the underscore it will get the things automatically after this on this icon button put here the theme dot toggle theme that's it now here let's change the icon also according to the theme so i'm just putting here the theme uh, let me copy it from the main dot dart file and i'm going to use this one copy it and then going here if there is a dark theme then use here icons dot sunny to change it sunny else icons dot dark mod perfect now uh, let's check it if we just click on this you will see it's working fine but if this is our like current theme and if I just run this app will it work or not it should be persistent so uh, uh, you will see it's not resistant it's just change the data that is coming from here why because we're not saving in the cache here somewhere so let's go to the theme service again and let's save the, that theme in the shared preference so that's very easy first of all just add this dependency at shared underscore preferences not this one okay so shared preferences just 2.0.15 is the current version so let's go to the main uh, theme service dot dart file and here just create one uh, one one shared preference object so shared uh, shared preferences and it should be the shared preferences perfect now uh, let's put here this one after this I'm just putting here the init SP this is just a function that we are going to uh, create the our shared preference object why I'm doing this let me tell you so I'm just putting here uh, uh, I'm just putting here the one thing that is just like uh, um, just like a shared preferences that we have just created the object this one object and then I'm going to put here the await and then putting here the shared preferences class dot get instance that's it now after this we have to make two function the first one is load SP load shared preference and then uh, uh, then save SP just like sh save shared preference data okay both should be the async and both should be the async perfect now how to load the data it's very easy for example first of all let's save the data okay so for the saving the themes first of all I'm just going to put here the await and I'm calling I'm just creating the object okay that we have just created here so that's why I'm just creating here so that whenever we will need we will just create the function not calling the again and again and after this uh, after this what we will do we have to save the save the theme so it's very easy just put here the dark theme that we have just created this boolean variable dark theme is equal to I'm just putting here the await and then shared persons object so shared preferences object that we have just created this one and then put here the set bool okay set bool two things it key and value let's create here a value uh, 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 put here the const then string then key and then put here any key okay so why it is talking about this uh, it's it says that's okay we just put here the static okay now just put here the key and this uh, this where it, it's coming from it is like uh, here uh, here and the data should be the dark theme whatever the value perfect 
now let's uh, uh, sorry it should be that load sp so i'm just not going to use this one here but here because we're saving the data here perfect now uh, when we are saving the data we have to get that data also so i'm just putting here i'm just going here and i'm just using this one shared preferences uh, not in this way uh, let me put here the shared preferences dot get bool okay and this get bool needs one key that's it let's put here this one and save this get bool with a the dark theme because it needs the uh, because it needs it's a get boolean function so it should run the true or false so that's why i'm using this one after this uh, what i will do i'm just using here uh, we are just putting everything here when we are toggling the theme then what i will do i just putting here the save share preference data okay and after this and i'm just going to use here in this way understand so till now everything is working perfectly so now let's restart our application and let's see is it working fine or not so the application has been restarted let's change it and now let's restart the application it should be dark mode so oh i think so it's not working uh, we have changed the, to the dark mode but it is not showing the data in a way that we are just putting okay the problem is that uh, because whenever we are using this theme surface we have to get the sp or the get like whatever uh, we have to load sp okay so that whenever the our theme service will be called in the main function it should load the sp and it should result the it should just result the value in the boolean now let's change into the dark mode and let's uh, restart the application and now let's see what happens okay i can see it's not working still so why it is not working still uh, 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 uh. the problem is that when we are loading loading the theme then we have to notify it to all the classes so we have to use this notify listener and you will see it's working fine now if i just restart the restart it again and then i want to show you how it works so it's restarted our application and you will see everything is working fine and if i just change into the this one and let's restart the application again and now you will see uh, it should be the light mode our application has been restarted it takes a little bit more time and let's see perfect it's white so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, now just press the bell icon subscribe it and like this video see you soon